Nuts and nuts will fuck up a good piece of cake every time, too, I'll tell you. If you're not expecting them, if you have nuts on your mind, fine. But if you got a clear nut channel and you're not thinking nut, you don't want some cake slipping a nut in on you. You got a piece of cake that you assume to be nut free and you're chewing your ass off. A nice piece of chocolate cake. You got most of it on the left cheek because that's where you chew good and you don't get the electric signals from the chocolate to your brain on the bad teeth you have on the other side. Chewing that chocolate real good. Nice and soft, good soft, nice consistency. Now the frosting is starting to blend with the cake part and it's all one good big gooey mess in your mouth but it's smooth as hell. It breaks up and it comes back together and you're chewing like crazy and here comes a nut. <laughs> here comes a nut that you have to deal with. Either you have to chew it at the moment or put it in the ashtray. I usually put it in the ashtray along with my toenail clippings. <laughs> Don't you keep your stuff like that? Don't you keep parts? <laughs> Never know, folks, when we're gonna need parts. <laughs> I do, you know, an old callus, I hang on to it, man. Skin from last summer's sunburn, yeah. Keep it in the top drawer. Hey, I just want to know where it is, you know what I mean? Somebody says, got any skin from last summer? <laughs> top drawer, right here. Yeah, anything comes out of me, I'm curious about. I'm going to save it for at least a half an hour. Till it dries out, you know? Whatever it is. Ah! Oh. <laughs> sure, your fingernails get so you can't bend them anymore after a day or two, you know? All the water goes out of them and you go, wow, holy Christ. Can't believe that was my fingernail. But it was. <laughs>